It was 9 in the morning when the Florida Emergency Mortuary Operations Response Task Force, or FEMERS, received a devastating call from Orlando. The District 9 Medical Examiner's Office requested assistance through the State of Florida Division of Emergency Management and the Florida Emergency Mortuary Operations Response System. A man entered a nightclub and opened fire. First, the uh, information was possibly 12. Uh, that went to 20, uh, then 30, uh, then 40. Um, so the, um, uh, the scale of the operation ramped up for us very quickly. After hearing about the attack, FEMERS deployed 40 members to help in the aftermath of the Orlando shooting. We had the first people on the ground in Orlando uh, by noon. Um, by approximately 3.30, we had limited capability to start doing victim interviews and to assume some of the call volume that was coming in to law enforcement and the area hospitals. They were also asked by the medical examiner's office to help staff the morgue. We provided forensic pathologists, we provided autopsy technicians and um, dentists to help with any dental identifications that may be needed. And this femur truck here just literally got back from Orlando. It helped carry equipment and remains that helped identify the victims of Sunday's tragedy. Femur says their goal was trying to identify the victims as quickly as they could and to get them back to their family as soon as possible. So to be able to handle that case volume and, and meet the time that he wanted to be able to start releasing bodies that had been identified, um, you have to have a supplemental resource of extra people in, in the um, autopsy suite. FEMERS worked alongside law enforcement and the medical examiner using a fingerprint technology called QuickPrint and photographs to help identify the victims in the Orlando shooting. Reporting in Gainesville, Alicia Tarancon, CBS4 News.